Hi, Steve. How are you? Rick Mills with Execution Digital Marketing. Good to talk to you this morning. Like I said, I wanted to send you this quick video uh, about three tips and tricks to use uh, to improve your online presence. Um, and at the end of the day, just bring you more customers. That's what this is all about. So um, I, I don't want to take too much of your time. Uh, I want to talk about number one, I want to talk about content. Number two, we'll talk about citations. And number three, we'll talk about backlinks. Um, obviously, you know, Please feel free to use these tips yourself. Um, if you have any questions, if you'd like to talk further, I'd love to do that as well. Um, I just ask if, if nothing else, if you can just leave me some, some feedback, that'd be great. Um, but let's jump right in. Content. Obviously, I have your website pulled up here. Um, really nice website. Love your logo, by the way. It's really sharp. Um, you've got some great images on here. Um, when it comes to content for Google, when Google bots are reading people's websites, businesses' websites, um, a kind of a rule of thumb, an unwritten rule is you want to have at least a minimum of 1,500 words on your homepage. So that's what those bots are doing. They're scrolling sites throughout the web, finding out which, which websites are giving that good information to their users, okay? And so 1,500 to 2,000 words is kind of rule of thumb when it comes to content on your homepage for, for what Google reads, and that's how you get ranked higher for certain search words. Okay, so that's content. Uh, number two, let's talk about citations. So when we talk about Google search, we talk about buyer intent keywords. And a buyer intent keyword, of course, is, you know, this exact, you know, this is a good example here. I type in tree service Houston Tech TX, right? That means they live in Houston, they need tree work done. And that's, a, that's a, a clear buyer intent keyword. And so when someone types this in, first thing they're going to see, obviously, are these ads. And hey, nothing wrong with ads. We do that too. We, we've got very successful Google ad campaigns. But, you know, honestly, you got to pay for it, right? And, and sometimes those things can get away from you. Um, sometimes the, the uh, you know, return on your investment might not be there. And so what we really focus on are the organic ranking so you're showing up for these search words without having to pay for ads okay and so the the, the first thing they're going to see after those ads is what we call here this google map pack um, it's got a lot of different names google google business profile um, you know you do have one of those set up on google so that's great but we want to get you in this top three these businesses right here are getting a ton of business organically because they're in this top three. This is the first thing people are seeing when they type in tree service Houston TX. So this is a, a huge thing. And so number two is citations. And all a citation is, is, is your name, address, and phone number the way it's listed on the web. And so Google, again, their Google bots are scrolling, you know, scrolling these different websites and companies to see who has the authority, who has, who signed up for these different citations. And again, a you know, a good example of, a, of an obvious citation would be like your Facebook page is a, is a citation that has your, you know, your business name, your address and phone number, uh, your homeadvisor.com profile, your Angie's profile, all these different directories that you're signed up for. Those are citations. So what we do, we have software. We can go in and look at these competitors and see, okay, we want to we make sure that Steve's Trees is signed up for all the citations that these these top three are signed up for. And then we double down and we get you as many more citations than these companies, these competitors as we can to make sure that you show up here. And that's how we get our clients in the top three of this Google map pack. Uh, and again, a lot of business coming from these, from these, you know, three listings right here. So that's citations. Third, we're going to talk about backlinks. So the next thing folks do on this when, they're, when they've searched this search term on Google is they're going to scroll down and they're going to look for the first you know, local, local company that shows up on the first page of Google. And as you can see, we scroll down, it's Houston Tree Surgeons is, is number one on this page for this search term, Tree Service Houston, Texas. Okay, so what we do, let's, uh, what I want to show you now is a, a software that I use um, this is, a, it's called a refs. Okay. This is a, a software I pay four to 500 bucks a month for, but what it lets me do is, is allows me to put your website in and really kind of get a look of, you know, what's working, what's not, what's good, what's bad. And so when we look at your website, first of all, you know, we, we're not showing up for much here in terms of this, this just kind of shows the power and popularity of your website. 
So not having any data here and, and having a zero score on popularity, um, that's something that can be improved. But what we want to talk about in this third tip is backlinks. So you do have 220 backlinks, okay? And that's good. I mean, you know what? Uh, a, lot, a lot of companies have a lot less than that. All a backlink is, um, if I am speaking a foreign language, which, you know, believe me, um, I, I understand. Um, but all a backlink is, is your website, your URL, which is uh, stevestreellc.com, linking from other websites across the World Wide Web. And so, as you can see, this, this number here, it says five referring domains. So you have 220 backlinks coming from five different websites. So, um, again, what we're looking for this to do is give you organic keywords that are ranking. You only have one organic keyword that you're ranking for. Um, let me just click into that and see what it is. It's probably Steve's Trees. Okay, Trees LLC and Steve's Tree Service. So those aren't buyer intent. Those are branding and national keywords that, that aren't going to be searched for people that are looking to get their trees worked on, get a tree removal, get you know stump, stump grinding, those sort of things. So what I wanted to show you was a comparison of uh, Houston tree surgeons. The first, they're on that first page of Google, number one on that first page of Google. Okay, so again, got, got some nice power here. They got a pop, you know, some popularity here on their website. Look at these backlinks, 1, 5, over 1,500 backlinks that they, they have coming from 157 dif different websites. Now, this is really important because I know you're probably saying, 1,500 backlinks, you don't have to have, you don't have to match the number of backlinks. It's having the right, the right backlinks, okay? And, and so what that's doing is they, they've got a lot of the right backlinks and it's giving them 480 organic keywords that they're ranking for a lot. Now, let me show you what that means when it comes to getting new customers, okay? So here it is, second word on this, second keyword on this list, Tree Service Houston, is what I typed into Google, right? Tree Service Houston, okay? And this is, I'll just show you how we read this. This is the volumes. That means 700 searches per month uh, in the Houston area for Tree Service Houston. It's a lot of searches. Great, great volume there, okay? But what, what does that mean, you know, is, is probably what you're asking. For them, as you can see, that's 189 click-throughs that they're getting to their website, okay, to get their phone number, to fill out their form submits, to get, you know, to get business. So as you can see, that's bringing them a lot of business. They're ranked number two on that page. So again, I just wanted to give you an idea of kind of what we do and how we do it. Um, I, you know, I really believe that I could, uh, that I could help you, help you out. Even if you just have questions for me, I'm happy to, to hop on the phone, but uh, I will follow follow up tomorrow and, and see if you were able to watch the video. I hope this helps. Like I said, if you can just give me some feedback uh, either way and, and let me know uh, what you thought of the video, that'd be great. But I appreciate your time, Steve, and we'll talk soon. Thanks so much.